Hello, so in this um, demo, we're going to look at, uh, start looking at Photoshop brushes. It's kind of a huge topic. Um, and mixing colors. Um, okay, so we're going to have a 10 by 10 inch canvas, 300 pixel per inch, RGB color, and the background needs to be transparent. Create that. I'm going to call the background background. I'm going to make a new layer. Call this mixing. All right, and with my background selected, I'm going to hit D, which sets the colors to the default. I'm going to go to G, which picks the paint um, bucket tool. X, which loads the white and fills it with white. I'm also going to go to the eyedropper tool and under sample I'm going to say current layer not all layers otherwise it's going to be mixing you'll see the paint it's going to be mixing with the white we do not want that. All right all right so then we're going over to mixing and the first thing we're going to do is just grab a basic brush so brushes in here. Um, you, we're going to do general brush, hard ground. All right. And we're going to lo load our, um, our primary colors here. So we'll start. Okay, so let's lay down some colors. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab just a basic hard round brush. Um, so the first thing um, that I want to look at is just changing the size of my brush. Um, so I could go over here, not over there. I could go over here um, and change the diameter that way. I can also um, do bigger and smaller with the bracket key. Um, but the best way is this control option. So if I click both of those at once, and that will let me kind of dynamically uh, update the size right in the canvas. So left, right is bigger, smaller, up, down is softer, harder. All right, I'm gonna hit E to delete that. I'm gonna grab a nice blue. Oopsie. Delete that. And then a red. All right, so there's my palette. Um, so the issue with digital art is you have millions of colors uh, that you can work with, um, as opposed to, let's say, painting with oil, where you start with a small palette, um, and then you mix those colors together to create new colors. And the beauty of mixing colors together is that new color has a component of both of the original colors. And in doing so, um, they're harmonious. They have an overlap. They have a, like a, a, a Boolean, an intersection. Um, analogous colors work this way. Um, and so it looks a little nicer. Um, with digital, you don't necessarily have that option, but Photoshop has a, a bunch of different ways of l literally mixing these colors together in a way that kind of emulates what natural media can do. Okay, so the brush we're going to use for this um, assignment is Real Oils 01. It's under Wet Media Brushes. And the thing we're going to need to get this to work is to turn off load solid colors only. This is going to let us um, mix and kind of treat it more in a analog way. So I turn that off. It's a little small, so I'm just using the bracket to make it bigger. So how this is going to work, I'm going to hit Alt, which is going to sample a color. I'll put it down there. And then Alt in another color and I painted it. Now, if I keep going, the red's gonna overtake the yellow. That's not what I want. So what I want is to put a little paint in there and then clean my brush. And to do that, I can kind of fiddle around with these things a lot, or an easier way is just to go to a clean pot of your canvas and uh, select that, which basically clears my brush, 
And now I can just use it as a little machine to mix these together, All right? Which is pretty neat. So red, blue, clear it, mix it up. Super fun in my book. Yellow, blue. You know, and I can keep going. I can find subtones. These little intermediaries get this really beautiful kind of mix of colors. I can also take um, these secondary tones and mix them together. like grayed out things, which are super cool. All right, so that is the one very basic way of mix mixing colors uh, in Photoshop.